Well, hello, my name is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and today, video two in the yoke vent series. Today we talk about yoke vent sizing. All plumbing code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. Now in order to size yoke vents, we need to read clause 2575. Yoke vents required by sentence 25431 are permitted to be one size smaller than the size of the smallest pipe to which they are connected. And if we look over here at this picture, we've got the same building from video one with the yoke vents put in place. If we look down on the ninth floor, we're gonna see a yoke vent. The yoke vent is connected to a three inch soil waste stack at that height and a three inch vent stack. I need to be one size smaller than the smallest of those two. Well, they're both three inch. So the next size down is two inch. That means my yoke vent needs to be two inches in size. Now, if I look down on the fourth floor, I'm gonna see another yoke vent. It is connected into a four inch soil waste stack and a three inch vent stack. I need to be one size smaller than the smallest. So one size smaller than the three inch vent stack is a two inch yoke vent. And yes, it is that easy and it is not gonna get more difficult. Now I am able to connect fixtures into the yoke vent and I would have to reference clause 2545, which I'm gonna flash up on the screen and you can read through on your own. I will give you the bullet points though. First, I can only connect fixtures that are maximum 1.5 fixture units to the yoke vent. Second, I can only put two of these fixtures into the yoke vent. Third, where I have two fixtures, they need to be connected by a double TY connection. And the last one, the drainage portion that acts as a wet vent needs to be minimum two inches in size. Now I did skip the last yoke vent clause from 2543 in the last video. Let's go through it right now. So 2543 part four. A yoke vent need not be installed provided the soil waste stack is interconnected with the vent stack in each story of the section in which fixtures are located by means of a vent pipe equal in size to the branch or fixture drain or two inches in size, whichever is smaller. Now if you're completely baffled by that diuretic explosion of words, well, so am I, but I know how to explain this in an easier way. So I have a building here with multiple different drains and they're all connected into the soil away stack. And all of them have a vent coming off that are connected into the vent stack, just like the requirement of this clause. Now let's talk about the sizing. So looking at this picture here, on the 11th floor, you see a one and a quarter inch drain connecting into the soil away stack. Now this clause says I need to be the same size as that drain for my vent. So my vent is one and a quarter inches and that's the dotted line that connects over into the vent stack. If I go two stories down, I'm gonna see a one and a half inch fixture drain connection or branch connection, whatever it is. Once again, the clause says I need to match that size. So the vent connection is one and a half inches connecting over into the vent stack. I go down another couple stories and I have a two inch branch and that vent comes off, connects into the vent stack, and it needs to match that size. Once again, it's two inch. Now on the next two, I get to the maximum point. I have a three inch and a four inch drain connection, but this clause says I need not be larger than two inches in size. So both of those have a two inch vent connecting over to the vent stack, but every single story of this building needs to do this and connect into the vent stack like this. So some of you might be wondering, when would you actually do this? Well, Here's the thing, if you have an engineer and an architect that actually work somewhat together, they can get together and design a building that's very functional for stuff like this. So you could have the vent from whatever is on each story tying into the vent stack. And it could be quite economical to do it this way because you could be saving money on pipe and fittings because either way, each story needs to be vented somehow. May as well stick it up through the vent stack. Well, this brings us to the end of the Oak Vent series, and I hope this was very informative for you. Now stay tuned for the next video, which will be on offset relief vents. Until then, you have yourself a superlative day.